Most people usually have at least three things on them at all time. Their keys, their wallet, and their cell phone, right? So what if you could make your trips a little lighter and start leaving the wallet at home? Google wants to try and do just that with a new app creatively titled Google Wallet. Here tonight to explain just how it's going to work, our tech expert, Anthony Mangeluzzo. Good to see you. Nice to see you, Thomas. So basically, your phone's going to become your wallet. Who needs a credit card anymore? You have a smartphone, you have a camera, you have a video camcorder, and now instant access to your cash. Why not? How's this going to work? How's this baby going to work? Now, this guy right here is the iPhone. This would not work natively. Basically, they're going to release new phones with a new technology called uh, NFT. You have to buy a new phone. What is that going to run you? Oh, another 200 and a of couple course. year contract. And you have to download an app. So basically, this technology that will be built into the phone will allow you to automatically draw your credit card. You load your app, it tees up your credit card, and off your so money goes. So it's almost like that pay pass that we see right now, where you just have that credit card and you just swipe it on the machine, bam. Exactly, that's the way it goes. So the only difference between the pay pass is you have to actually download an application. And of course, Google, with the Android phone, will make it readily available. So your MasterCard, Visa, American Express, even gift cards can all go on your phone. Everything. Now, on a phone like this, mm -hmm. one thing to point out, they, they will be giving a little sticker, basically, which right. will be limited only to one card. So your old technology, you know, your old iPhone 4. The phone you just bought. That you just bought. For a couple hundred dollars, you're going to have to buy something else. you got to wonder how safe is this technology, though? What if uh, you lose your phone? Right now, it's pretty safe. If you lose your phone, all bets are off. You better call in really quick. Um, but the technology is safe, but 20 years from now, 10 years mm -hmm. from now, we'll look at it like it was simple technology. So and why haven't we done this so, sooner? But, but you always got to be careful of the hackers, though, and those trying to get your personal information. When is this going to roll out? Uh, it's rolling out right now in um, California and New York. They're testing it. They're going to see how it goes, see what people think of it. So we'll see and in a couple of years before we actually start. I, I don't think this technology will be mainstream for at least a year, probably a couple, but it's who knows? It's pretty cool, though. 70% of consumers are actually on board with this. They actually feel fine giving their you know financial information over the Internet. I want to talk about something else in our final seconds here. It's called a virtual credit card, disposable credit cards. Yes. We've heard about this for a while, but now it's kind of taking the next step? Yeah, basically, like, you could have one credit card, and it's your number, but you could have a bunch of aliases, let's say. Hmm. So therefore, if I'm, I'm your vendor and I get hacked, hopefully not, hmm. uh, they would actually, you could just delete the credit card that you gave me without compromising your main number that's tied to your reward points, gift cards. And it could be cards. specific to a particular store and so forth. Exactly. You can always go to myfoxphilly.com to learn more about this virtual credit card. Anthony Mangelusa, good to see you. Have a great weekend, yes. holiday weekend, big plans? A uh, couple plans. We'll have uh, a little fun over this weekend. You live in the, uh, you have a high life. Huh? One day I'm going to catch up to you, my friend. Good to see you. But of course, the all important.